We got our first Saturday games of the season. And the 3.30 Central Time game, the Raiders at the Browns. This line shifted significantly today. It opened at 6. It's now down to the Browns as a three-point favorite total of 40. Uh, by the way, odds brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Check out the link in the description. Go check out America's premier sports book. So the Raiders are 1-5 against the spread their last six games, but they are 5-2 and two against the number their last seven as a road dog. Uh, the Browns, 6-2 and two against the spread at home against the losing team. They typically take care of these situations, but they had like eight guys going on COVID reserve uh, today or on Tuesday. They they could be back. There's not a whole lot of details about it, but like a couple of starting offensive linemen, Landry, et cetera. Like they, they have some pretty big names that are out on COVID reserve. I'm... I think I'm going to ride Browns anyway because I think a lot of people are betting the opposite direction here. But the Raiders have not shown me anything to make me believe in them going on the road right now. Right now, so we picked these games Tuesday evenings. It's going to come out Wednesday morning. This This is a blanket statement for everybody right now involved. I would not bet anything in the NFL as of right now until maybe game day. And I don't care that, oh, I'm not getting the better line. None of that matters. You need to know who's playing and who's not. And yes. COVID right now, not just in Cleveland, it is ripping through like nine different teams. Oh, the okay? Rams are just. Uh, yeah. So I, there's, so there's, there's absolutely no way on earth. I, so we're going to make picks. That's fine. They're going to go on the record. That's fine. If you're making bets today, I think you're a fool. Yeah. So you I, can do I don't the hell you want. I don't like my any opinion of the of you lines. Might not matter. I don't. I don't really like the lines this week. I've got one that I well, really I like. The, no, I love the lines, and I don't. I, I've got some games that I absolutely love, but that's assuming guys are going to play that I think are going to play, and and you know, not everybody who's got COVID is going to miss the game. So, but there's a world where all those guys miss the game, and the line gets really shitty. So yeah. with that, I'll take the Browns. I, I still think they're a more talented team. I also think they're a better coach team. And that's that's where this is going to come down to. At some point in time, discipline's just going to matter. Yeah. No, I, I think you're right. Cleveland, significant advantage on offense over that Raiders defense. And then the Raiders offense and the Cleveland defense are, you know, uh, half and half, right? They're, they're just kind of the same thing. Uh, one's number 18 in DVOA, and one's number 15. It's, it's whatever. But Cleveland's offense uh, significantly improved over that Raiders defense. So... Both riding with the Browns, minus three. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.